Okay, so I'm getting ready right now to go to brunch with one of my friends. I'm just realizing that I didn't really think this through because I'm going to get my eyelashes and my eyebrows done at 1.45 and I'm going to brunch at... 10. I can't really have like makeup done and I was about to get ready So I'm trying to decide like how much makeup to put on. I don't know what to do I don't want to have no makeup. I wanted to like feel cute going to brunch But I'm also wearing this cute dress that I wore the other day when I went out somewhere I only wore it probably for like an hour So I didn't wash it because it wasn't really dirty except the bottom of it was kind of dirty because Lola got her little like handprints on me So I just tried to wipe that off and see if it will like come off it's also 9.12 and I need to leave at 9.20 and my hair's not done and my makeup's not done. I'm going to a brunch place that I haven't actually been to before but I've been hearing about it and it looks really good. But it is almost like 40 minutes away. So, we're gonna part the hair. I'm gonna use some of this Riogio serum right here. I also have the day styling cream, which I love. Luma's also mad because our cleaner just got here and she's locked in my bathroom because she barks. Let's see. Luma, shh. Let me take our ponytail. This has been my favorite way to do my bun lately. It's literally just like a messy bun, but slicked back. Mmm, okay. Sometimes it turns out better than others, but then I have this little stick. What the heck? That I showed you guys in the last vlog. To get rid of the flyaways. Okay, I might redo that because it's looking kind of crazy, but 9.15. I have five minutes and I don't know what to do. Okay, I showed you guys in the last vlog that I went and got my lip filler dissolved. Not all the way, but I feel like a good amount of it is gone. They're definitely bigger than they like originally were. I still have a little bruise. We need lip liner. They feel so much better though. I'm so glad that I went and did that. I also just got this thing from Sephora. Plush put in from Fenty. 9.19. I'm also gonna use my heated eyelash curler today. I guess I need to let it heat up, but what else? Anything else? Maybe a little highlighter. I'm gonna do this under my eyes even though it's gonna get wiped off when I get my lashes done. But I'm pretty sure I have to come home in between getting those done because they're too far apart. I'm going north to go to brunch and going south to get my eyelashes done. So I'll have like kind of a big gap. Okay, I'm actually scared to look in the camera while I'm doing this. I'll link this eyelash curler down below. I love it. 9.21! I need jewelry and we have to go. <laughs> I went to brunch. I don't know if I missed my exit or what, but I went like, I had to go the weirdest way. So I was on a scenic drive. I was done at like an awkward time where I could have gone home, but only for like 30 minutes and it was north. So then I would have had to like go all the way home, come all the way down here. So instead I went and got a foot massage because the foot massage place was like kind of close to where I was. So that was super nice. I haven't done that in a while. And then I just got done with my eyelashes and my eyebrows. So I got them laminated and tinted. So they're like pretty dark right now. You can't wash them or get them wet for like 24 hours and then they kind of like lighten up a little bit and I had her do them a little bit softer this time because I used to like spike them all the way up and now I want them to be not quite so crazy so I think after I can like get them wet and they're not quite so dark they will be literally perfect and then I also got my lashes lifted and tinted which I've been wanting to do so bad because the ends of my eyelashes are so light and they just like look so much better. It's 321, I told Parker I'd be home around 3.30. It always takes longer than I think it's going to take. Oh my gosh, I'm 35 minutes from home. <laughs> I'm not gonna be home until four. I literally left at like 9.30 this morning. I've been gone all day long. I also saw a place that has like pies and I wanted to go there, but I'm looking at their menu. They have like chicken pot pie, stuff like that. So I wanted to see if they have any vegetarian ones and they literally do not have like one single vegetarian option. So it's gonna get that for dinner. Oh wait. Oh, they have a lasagna. Oh wait, no, it has beef. Okay, never mind. Yeah, they literally have not one single vegetarian thing. So I will not be picking that up for dinner, but I'm eating a little granola bar because Brunch was at 10 and it's 3.22. I don't know how everything took me so long, but my stomach was literally growling in there. 
Next up, we are going to the grocery store. I put on my headphones, picked out a podcast, and I have the cutest case on my phone today from Caseify. They are sponsoring today's video. I first heard about Caseify years ago and have been using their cases ever since because I love how protective they are. The impact and ultra impact cases have up to 11.5 feet of drop protection. The case I have on my phone right now has 6.6 .6 feet of drop protection. This is one of their clear cases, which is optimized to prevent yellowing. They also have MagSafe compatible cases, and they're also made of 65% recycled and plant-based material. They also have a lot of really fun artist collaborations. So what you guys know I love SpongeBob. This collection is one of my favorites. I have a ton of cute prints and I love picking out like the cute, fun, colorful ones, but I also have a few minimal ones, but there are a ton of different ones to choose from. And I also have my 15% off link if you go to caseify.com slash Aspen and Parker. So that is in the description box for you guys. But as I was heading to the grocery store, Cope decided she wanted to come. So no podcast for me, but we got some groceries we had to get some Olipop and some Paw Patrol juice. We also got some orange juice. We got basil. We got peaches. And I also got some soup. So I got tomato, basil, and minestrone. I also got pepperoni and cheese because Parker wanted to make homemade pizzas this week. But I got all the groceries put away. And then I needed to clean out my car. It was so messy. And I hate having a messy car. Like if my car is messy, I am cleaning it out immediately. So I did that. And then it started getting some dinner prepped. I was making tofu. I've shown how I make this literally thousand times but this is just a block of firm tofu that i cube and then i put on nutritional yeast garlic powder seasoning salt 21 seasoning salute and put it in the oven at 425 for like 30 minutes and then parker's in his cooking era so he found this recipe i think on instagram it was like a ricotta broccoli pasta so he made that and it was so good hello guys i'm getting ready to go on a little staycation with some of my friends and i think it was like january we went and stayed a night downtown and like went out to dinner and brunch and got massages and stuff and it was so fun but it was freezing so i wanted to do it again in the summertime so i need to pack and get ready right now it's only one night but i also feel like i don't have anything to wear it's two right now and we're leaving at three so i think I'm gonna pack a little bit and then I want to go to free people and see if they have any cute like tops or something for dinner. Pack my bag. I'm gonna do this little PJ set. What else? I need an outfit for brunch tomorrow. I need to pack my makeup bag, but I have a ton of stuff in here, like way more stuff than usual. I'm trying to decide if I should like go through it and clean it out or just literally shove the whole thing in there, which I think I'm gonna do just to save myself some time. Okay have 10 times more makeup than I actually need. I also wanna bring my air wrap. We're gonna get ready at the hotel. So I need to bring this, I need these babies. Okay, I just went and got this box of stuff that I've been meaning to open. I wanted to film opening it, but I think Pepper and Co opened it, so. This is a PR package, but it was this little new face, like machine thing. I'm not gonna try this right now, but I'll show you guys that later. I also ordered from Day. I wanted to try their Gave Dry Heat and Hold Styling Mist. I also have a little travel size of the hair oil, which I love. I already have this skirt from Princess Holly, but mine shrunk in the dryer. I need to like Google how to not shrink stuff because I don't know, but I'm obsessed with it. And the length just like was ruined because it shrunk in the dryer. So I literally ordered another one and I'm gonna keep the first one, but I'm gonna take it down to our other house. So I keep some clothes down there. And it's just like a really good basic item to have, just like a white maxi skirt. Maybe I should go shopping and then come back and finish packing. This necklace was kind of bold, but I kept seeing it and was like, okay, I think I wanna try. You can like adjust the length of it, but. So I think it should be like higher like this. Mm, okay, what else did I get? I think this is just like more necklaces. And no soliciting sign is in here because I took it off the door because it was like falling down and it doesn't even freaking work anyways because people still come here. Okay, I also got this skirt. This is so cute, but it's like very summery, which it is summer, but it looks like kind of see-through. So I don't really think it's the vibe for dinner downtown, but I literally just need like a cute shirt to wear. Hairspray, my hairbrush, a comb, and an elastic. I'm also gonna pack these. Put them in a little bag, actually. This cute little Drift Avenue bag. I also need my toothbrush, which is probably too big to fit in here. Maybe, maybe not. Perfect. Okay, and I also need, I need face wash. Do I have face wash? Okay, I wanna get like minis of my skincare stuff. So I think I'm gonna go to Free People in Sephora right now and then finish packing when I get back. We don't have to leave exactly at three because we're literally just driving downtown. So we were gonna leave like sometime around there. I feel unprepared because I don't know, I don't know what to wear.
Okay, not only did I not find any cute shirts, I was looking for like a specific, I wanted just like a cute little black tank top. Couldn't find that at Anthropology or Free People. And not only did I not find anything, but I freaking got pulled over on the way here. Luckily, I just got a warning. And when he was like doing whatever he the cops do, like at their car, looking at my stuff or whatever, I was thinking about what if I had like a warrant or something out for my arrest and like didn't know, <laughs> like that would just be crazy. Then he came back to the car and he's like, okay, I have good news and bad news. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have one and I'm getting arrested. Cause I feel like people have those sometimes and they like don't know why. I don't really know anything about them. But if you like didn't pay a ticket or something, like, I don't know, but I haven't been pulled over in literally probably like six years. I think the last time that I did was like right before we went to Zambia, but maybe I'm thinking of a different trip. I don't know. I remember getting pulled over and I was like really stressed because... I got a ticket, but we were leaving town in like like the next day or something. So I went to wherever you go to like pay the tickets and they were like, oh, it's not registered in our system yet. It won't be for like three days. And I was like, I'm gonna be gone for the next two weeks. Like you have to do something. I'm here to pay it. And I don't remember what happened, but I know that it was fine. But I was just thinking when he said that, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm getting arrested and I don't even know why. That sucks, but I'm just happy that it was only a warning. Also went back into Sephora because I needed a new mascara. I've been wanting to try this Tower 28 one. I also have been trying to do a little bit of like a wing but I kind of wanted to use like a brow pencil not even a brow pencil but just like a pencil I have a liquid liner and I'm just like not loving it like it's just too harsh and I'm also not good at doing a wing and I always do it like way too far up like I try to follow the angle like out of my eye you know but it just does not work and then the girl in Sephora has the cutest fake freckles so she inspired me to get fresh but I tried to like use it on my hand to test it and it like it does not look good at all I've had this before but hopefully it looks better when I put it on my actual face Anyways, going back home and I have literally nothing to wear, so. Okay, <laughs> I'm vlogging. I never vlog with friends anymore usually, but we're in the, the hotel. We got some room service, charcuterie board, oh. chocolate cake, french fries. Let me show you, oh my freaking gosh. I spilled water all over. Let me show you guys what happened to my pants. Luckily, I was not gonna wear these, but I can't now because they're not gonna be dry by the time that we leave. We're staying at the Grand America. So cute. And we're having a little snack before we go to dinner. just leaving Ruma Aesthetics, which is where I got my lips dissolved last week. If you didn't watch last week's vlog, I was planning on dissolving like the whole thing and starting over, but then she was like, oh, I can just, I go to Chrissy and she's great. She was like, I can just do basically like part of it, like the part that migrated. And I was like, okay, let's do that. And then kind of see where they're at. And then I'll see if I want to like touch them up a little bit. And they were looking good, but I feel like my top lip, she like dissolved a little bit more of my top lip than my bottom. So they were kind of looking a little uneven after like they settled and everything. I wanted to go back and get them touched up. So I always swell and bruise really bad. So they're a lot bigger right now than they are going to be. I said I wanted like around half a syringe, but for her to like use her judgment and see, because obviously I don't, I might need a little more or whatever. Well, I actually forgot to ask how much she ended up doing, if it was like about that much or a little more or less. Yeah, pretty swollen right now. I'm gonna keep this ice on it and I think they are looking good. The shape is looking a lot better. I feel like this will hold me over for at least like hopefully like a year or two i went a really long time in between getting them done the first and second time and i think it was like 18 months or something or maybe even longer was it like two years it was a long time basically i feel like the filler lasts like a long time in my lips i'm so happy that i went in and got them done i'm gonna drive home i went to a workout class this morning so i have lots of fun plans today because i also have pedicures planned with my friend kenna it's 11:23 right now and pedicures are at one so all right we are heading home but i wanted to give you guys a little lip update because i told you guys that i would um mostly on tiktok people were asking but yeah i also got botox last week so we have all the beauty things and wait was that in this vlog that i went and got my eyelashes done i don't know i'm trying a new vlog format usually i will kind of just like pick a day and be like okay i'm gonna vlog today and i'll try to have like some fun stuff that i'm doing or whatever but i feel like it's hard for me to get like a whole vlog in 
one day like I can do it and I've done it a million times before and I honestly prefer it that way because then it's like fresh in my mind of like this is what I did today this is what I filmed today I know I have enough footage I know I like filmed ABC so when I film on a lot of different days it kind of just like gets confusing for me but I feel like maybe if you're watching like you probably wouldn't notice or care that this is like maybe two days later from like the last time I filmed or something like I feel like I don't really notice that when I'm watching a vlog as long as everything's kind of like cohesive but I've been trying to film on the days where I'm actually like doing more stuff instead of like just on one day and then I'm like okay what should I film instead of doing that I'm just like taking the camera with me to film like the things that I'm going to do so it takes me longer to film and it's a little bit harder for me to like put a video together and like make sure that it makes sense and everything but I feel like the video turns out better so we're kind of experimenting with that a little bit so I'm kind of doing like a weekly vlog instead of like a daily vlog but again sometimes like I have no idea what's in this video because I filmed it I don't know we're experimenting with that right now so yeah but you guys said you like the last vlog so I think that you guys are also liking it too but we'll see how this one turns out maybe I'll end the vlog here because I don't want to like film getting a pedicure there's not really that much to film of that I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and seeing all of the random things that I did this week that I can't even remember what they are don't forget to check out case defy case slash Aspen Parker for a 15% off your new favorite phone case. They are going to be linked down below. Let me know if you guys like this new vlog format. It's not like that different. Like maybe you guys didn't even notice, but I'm just trying to like make sure I'm filming exciting things. <laughs> so hope you guys enjoyed watching and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye guys.